Hi, I'm Greg with Physics Group, here with Christian from Weyerbacher Brewing Company in Easton, Pennsylvania. Christian, thanks for having us here. Cheers. Cheers. So tell us about what we're drinking. We are drinking uh, Jesser's Choice 5, which is a, um, it's a one-off series that we do. It's a new recipe every time. So this is a Hefeweizen 5.3% with uh, lemon peel and greens of paradise. It's good. It's very drinkable. So tell us how you got into brewing. Um, I got into brewing uh, right out of college. Uh, we had in Pittstown University. We have a brew pub in town, so I just started working there. Uh, I thought beer might be a, a good temporary job situation for me since I like drinking beer so much. Mm -hmm. So I uh, started working as an assistant brewer there and I uh, liked it better uh, than what I was doing before that. So here I am 10 years later. Awesome. So give us a little history about Weyerbacher and when it gets started, and some of the background. Yeah, so uh, Weyerbacher is uh, 21 years old. We started in 1995 um, in downtown Easton. We were in an old horse stable. It's actually right next to Two Rivers Brewing Company that's currently there. Um, about 12 years ago or so, uh, we moved to our current location. Uh, we have about 30, 40,000 square feet, somewhere around there. and. Um, yeah, 21 years, we're going strong. Finally legal. Awesome, awesome. So uh, how would you describe Weyerbacher's approach to craft beer? So we've sort of made a name for ourselves for uh, making really high alcohol beers. Um, you know, our Blithering Idiot, Merry Monks, Quad. We're pretty known for making high alcohol beers, so that's sort of our approach that we've done for most of our time. Uh, we're starting to break into the market with some real lighter offerings, um, stuff we want to drink, it's stuff the public wants to drink. It, so we'll make something you know for everyone. Cool. So kind of going off that, can you tell us about any projects that are in the works here at Weyerbacher? So yeah, we have a, a rotating IPA series. So we're going to be brewing uh, what's called Double IPA Number Three. It's going to be a nine percent black IPA. It's going to be very good. Amarillo hops, Centennial, a couple others. Um, we're also working on a Sunday mole stout, which is a take on our um, Sunday morning stout. Love that beer. Great. The mole is going to be very good. Uh, should be out uh, late fall of uh, 2016. And we are uh, working on a couple collaborations with brewers, uh, domestic, maybe some abroad. So um, keep an eye out for them. So can you tell us if you remember the first uh, beer you ever had on draft or what the situation was like there your first time? So yeah, um, my first draft beer, um, I had to go to Canada. I was 18 years old and uh, I think it was a Molson Triple X. Nice. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot on tap up there. Uh, very small town on a lake so uh, went up with a family friend and we drove the boat over and uh, that was my first beer. That sounds like First a cool legal experience. beer, yeah. So, have you noticed any major difference of drinking a beer dispensed through the physics draft beer system versus a normal hand pour? Well, I particularly like using uh, the physics machine for uh, growlers. Um, I can keep it in there, you know, keeps it insulated, and uh, it's kind of nice when you can just pour uh, a fresh draft beer and then top it up. I like uh, pouring wit beers, um, you know. Uh, also like kind of like IPAs on here, kind of gives it sort of a nitro sort of feel. Mm. Um, it really works, especially uh, wheat beers like uh, Jester's Choice Five here. I'm just getting a nice it's head. Tasting great through the face. Oh yeah. All right, so one last question for you: If you could have a beer with anyone, living or dead, who would it be and why? Ooh man. Well, if I had to choose one person. Uh, Probably a uh, uh, rock and roll singer, Ronnie James Dio. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people who know me know I like uh, <laughs> I like rocking out the Dio on the brew house, and uh, you know he was a uh, known uh, beer lover, so it'd be nice to like talk about beers he's had all over the world. And so, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot again for having us, and uh, cheers. Thank you.